Thanks for watching. Welcome to our baby boys nautical theme nursery tour. This room was so fun and it has a lot of creative aspects about it that we enjoy doing and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we did putting in the work to create this space. So everything is going to be listed down in the description box if you see anything that you like. Uh, be sure to list it down there once I have the link. So starting off on the his dresser, this picture frame my mom brought back from St. Thomas. She visited a couple weeks ago so I told her I wanted a piece of St. Thomas to put in his room and she brought back this picture frame for him. I got this little sailboat from PJ Maxx and this orchid plant I always had so I just left it in the room. This trusted drawer I got from Ashley's Furniture in 2017. I had the whole setup with two full-size beds in here. So this room was actually set up as a guest room. So I just kept the dresser and sold the rest of the items. And I really like the dresser because it has that white whitewash shift lap team that matches so well with the decor here in this room. So moving on, inside the drawers I just have his setup for his onesies and his sleepers. His dividers I got off of Amazon, I'll list them down below. And in the second drawer, I have his blankets, his socks, his hats, and his burkots and bibs over here. And in this third drawer, I just have his towels and washcloth and a little bigger size clothing that I got in there along with his powder. Now this lime I got from Amazon. I wanted that um, modernized kind of look and I wanted to trim the room in gold. And I also got his hamper off of Amazon as well. So the bulb in the lamp I got off of Amazon is one of those bulbs that are able to change colors and I have it hooked up to my Amazon Alexa app so I'm able to turn it on and off through there and this is just a glimpse of how it looks in the evening time when I have it at blue but it's able to change any color that I really want it to and it just gives the room a nice warm cozy feeling in the evening times and I know once baby boy gets here it's gonna be a sweet cozy time just spending time with him in his room. So these shadow boxes we actually made ourselves. We purchased all the equipment that we needed from Michaels and we put it together and created these two shadow boxes. I couldn't find any that I really liked to purchase so I decided to just make my own and we just bought the sand, the shadow boxes and the little crystals in there along with a bag of shells and just put it together ourselves. So this holographic school of fish on both sides of his name, I got out from the Etsy store. I also found the cutout of the seagulls and his actual monogram name off of the Etsy store. And basically we just bought some rope. We spray painted it. It came unfinished so we spray painted it in blue and we just wrapped the rope around it and painted his name white. His crib I was able to find on Wayfair is called the Nolan Standard Convertible Crib and it converts into a toddler bed when the time is ready. Just had to buy the toddler rail for it. And I got his bedding set from Bye Bye Baby. And the two boppy covers I got from Amazon because I already had boppies from my previous pregnancy. So I just changed the covers and this mobile also came from Bye Bye Baby as well. Oh 
my god guys his rug is where it all started this is the first thing I got and was the main focus and this gave me all the ideas to put this room together I was able to find it on Wayfair and it's a round size 5x3 and it's so beautiful it's actually like an ivory and my daughter loves to play on this rug it's so nice and cozy and cushiony this glider I got off of Wayfair. It's actually a glider that swivels. It's the color white, but it actually has like an ivory tone to it. I didn't want anything too big for the room. So when I found it, I read the reviews and it said it was a good size. I knew I had to get it. So these floating bookshelves I was able to find on Amazon. I love that they have like the space in the middle. That's what look I was going for for this room. And this section is just gonna be my little reading, breastfeeding toy corner. When eventually when he get his little stuffed animals and toys, that's gonna be all put over here. This little side table I got off of Amazon as well. I wanted to find something trimmed in gold to match the lamp over in the other corner. His curtains and his curtain rods, I was able to find on Amazon as well. Now I found this little towel rack off of an Etsy shop. I love how it came out. I know I wanted to get some boat cleats as his hangers, like how my daughter has her bow hangers. I wanted to get boat cleats for him for this room, which I thought would be so cute and it came out so beautiful. So this piece I found at TJ Maxx. I went in there to look for some wall decor for the nursery and when I saw this I said yes, this is what I'm looking for. This piece on top of the cube I already had in the room so I just kept it and it has some string lights in there that lights up in the evening time. And I just bought the two nautical theme inserts to go in there and I just placed his baby diaper caddy in there as well. So this is basically in his closet. I don't have any clothes for him as yet hanged up in here but this is my shelving unit that I bought to put in here to hold his pampers and any other items that I need storage for. So this is basically just the setup for right now. And that's basically the nursery in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. See my daughter always goes to his hamper and pulls it out. <laughs> I just love how the room came out. I hope you guys do too. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my other video that's going to pop up. Take care. See you over there. Oh, yeah.